Hey guys, Momo here, and welcome to the fourth episode of our Another Code to Memories playthrough. In this episode, we're going to start chapter 2 The House of Lawrence. Alright, can we go back? Ashley, why are you going outside the gate? We finally made it in, so I'm not sure... Uh, I'm not about to leave so soon. <laughs> of course. Oh, we can actually go outside. Okay, it's because I thought about it um, at the end of the last episode that I might have um, overlooked a secret somewhere. But question is if... I am wrong. <laughs> um, it's just there's a there's not a lot of secrets in this, but there's a lot of those um, death cards uh, that are not essential for the story that might be laying around. Um, I just had a hunch that one of them was uh, in this. Lodge, but it seems I'm wrong. <laughs> Maybe um, I'll look it up later. <laughs> but here we are. It's it's actually a good thing that we can go back if we wanted. That we're not limited by the chapters uh, and the locations. So uh, good and new game. Good and new. Okay, so let's see if we can actually explore. See if there's anything laying around here doubt it though but yeah <laughs> um i haven't actually expressed how much i actually love the the style of this game um this was one of the very very first ds games i played um i had i didn't own one of the old ds's uh like the one she has the das <laughs> Uh, I got a DS Lite as my first one. I got into the video game thing quite late, except I was playing on emulators when I was a child. Um, but yeah, this this game is really nostalgic to me. So this mansion is enormous. So this is where Franny lived. I can't believe the size the size of this place. What's your house like? I live in a flat on the fourth floor. Do you have a butler there? A butler? Are you kidding? <laughs> they had one here. His name was Wells. About Wells. Wells the butler? Yes. When my father and I visited here, he showed us around. When you visited here? Yes. You mean that you and your dad were guests here? I think so. What kind of relationship did your dad have with the Edwards? Hmm. Oh! Father was raised in this house. What's wrong, Dee? Ashley, I remember now. The time we visited here. What about it? Father received a letter and after he read it, he said, We have to see him. No time to lose. We have to go to the house where I was raised. And that's, what's, that's what brought father and me to this island. Who's him? Who sent the letter? can't remember. It's okay, Dee. I bet you'll remember everything once we get inside the mansion. Entry Hall. There's a plague under the painting. The plague has an engraving. Dearest Thomas, the silver bird. A, pa 
painting. It's hanging on the wall. Let's snap a picture of it. It's so empty. I wonder where Dad is. Ashley. This is the entry hall. That door leads inside the mansion. Really? So there must be a room on the other side. I bet that's there. And Jessica too. Ashley. Who's Jessica? She's basically... Uh, she basically raised me. She came to the island with me. Is she your mother? No, she's my dad's little sister. But she's kind of like my mom. What's she like? She's a teacher. She's really smart and great at, uh, and a great cook. Hmm. We came to this island together, but she went off to look for dad. She hasn't come back. Oh yeah, wait a sec. Huh? That's Jessica. She looks nice. She is. I bet Jessica can see you deep. Yes, I'm sure. I just remembered I missed my chance to take a, a picture of Dee. Huh. Maybe the chance comes again. A bird statue adorns the room. A disc shape is cut out from the base. It's a statue of two birds. Each with the end of a branch in its bill. What's this? Something is written on the base. Four leaves sprouting. Together they open the door. What's this? What's that supposed to mean? Mm. I wonder. Let's go look the other way around. A painting hangs on the wall. There is a plague under the painting. The plague has the engraving Dearest Henry, the Golden Bird. Mm. Okie doke. So, let's do a bit of a picture magic. Right. So, we have uh, this. Let's take that to the one screen and let's take this and overlap. Okay, so the thing is, uh, this is an overlap feature. So eh, you can see the birds hold like a four leaf clover. And there's a code. <laughs> it says 1128. Um, yeah. 1128. Uh, there's also Roman numerals which say 1234. So it, it, it is 1128. Okay, so um, I didn't ex exactly notice where there's a place to input a code. <laughs> let's. Uh, oh, actually, let's go examine the door. Right. The door is locked. There is a keypad on the door. What's the code? It is one. One. Two. Eight. I unlocked it. Right, so now the door is unlocked, but what's the statue? Still. Ah. Uh, we have to get some kind of thing to insert in this. A bird statue adorns the room. Mm. Four leaves sprouting. Together they open the doors. Mm. Mm. Is there 
think there's something with the statue. Oh, well. I'll wait. Hey! What's the matter? Is someone there? I thought it was my dad. I'm sorry. But this picture... Who is it? It's my great-grandfather. So this must be... Your father's grandfather. Yes. Look at the bottom left. There's a name. Lawrence Edward. Oh. My great grandfather. I'm so happy you came. What just happened? Ashley, I remembered now. My father. He came here to see my sick great grandfather. I understand. Hey. Do you hear that? Piano. Hmm? It's coming from the music room. There was a piano in the music room. So this was your great grandfather D. Yes, that's right. Let's take a picture. Yep. So Okay, I didn't examine any of the rooms here, so let's see. The door's locked, I can't get in. Right. What's this? The door is locked. Damn it. Oh, music room. There's a piano here. Yeah. The, the floor is very squeaky. There's nobody here. Hmm. Scattered papers lie on the floor. In front of the bookshelf. What is this? This is written on one of the pieces of paper. In researching the hair... hair Her <laughs> heredity <laughs> of memory and because of our reasons for developing another we couldn't avoid taking into consideration the following point the people involved in the development and the applica <laughs> application of another must understand completely how much a person's memories affect their sense of identity This is a section of the essay about another. But why is it just lying around here? Another? Yes. Ashley, what's another? It's a project my parents were working on. It seems to be a device that works with memory. Memory device? I don't really get it either. I got the essay pages. There's a portrait on the wall. It shows a man sitting in front of a piano. I wonder who he is. Hmm. Do you know who he is? No, I don't. There's a piano in the room. A score sits on the piano. 
I wonder whose picture it is. Hmm. That piano is dusty. I bet that sound we heard earlier was the piano. Yes, that was it. But who? Who was playing the piano? Who would just play a piano and run, do run off? Play a piano? It's a small shelf. The signs of the zodiac are on the keys. That's strange. Huh. Right. Um. Bookshelf. White books occupy the top shelf. I wonder what kind of books are. Uh, I wonder what kind of kind of books are these. There are signs of the zodiac and the letters on the spines. Ha! Huh. Play the piano and open the doors. <laughs> What's wrong? Ashley, I remember. My father taught me that by playing the secret melody on the piano. Secret melody? I could make the hidden doors appear. What? Mm, nope. Okay. The butler's room. A large desk sits in the room. There is a notepad on the desk. This notepad is new. Ashley, is that your father's? Yeah, it might be. There's nothing written on it. But the top page is, uh, the top page is torn off. What? What's wrong? Whatever was written on the torn off page left an impression. What was written on that page? Oh, there's a death card here. <laughs> a small card lies next to the pad. There's a death card. I got a death card. This message message pops up after I put the desk card, the card in the desk. Ashley. I know you came to this room in search of me. I'm so happy, Ashley. I can't wait to see you. I'll tell you all about another and about your mom. I will be waiting for you in a room deep inside the mansion. A room deep inside the mansion? That's here. He's here. I need to find him. I don't understand what he's doing here. And what is another? I have to find dad. He'll tell me about mom and about another. He'll explain everything. I'm coming dad. Hmm, okay. Impressions have been made on the new page. What was written on the page that was torn off? <laughs> oh, the pencil that broke! Looks like it. Mm. Ashley, do you have anything that could work in place of the pencil? Something that could work in place of a pencil? Hmm. Not right now. <laughs> um. Let's see. Uh, is there anything in this? 
In the drawer is a small card. I got the desk card. So that was that. <laughs> that's what I was talking about. Um. Okay. Uh. No. Biggest. Um. No. Okay. So we have the desk cards. Um. Uh, that's the one we already read. Yeah. Card number 901. Richard's, Richard's memory. When I'm stuck on a problem in my work, I find the best way to work through it is just to leave it for a little while. I do it by picking up a book and heading down to the Porter's Lodge. The fresh air gives me a chance to clear my head. No, a chance to clear my head. At the lodge, I like to sit on the wooden chair by the window, with Sayako's photo close by. Sitting there, my heart, ca my heart carefree. Uh, I always think of the afternoons I spend with Sayako in the sun sunny living room of our Seattle home. By the time I'm finished reading, I'm filled with a warmth that seems to burn off the haze in my mind. The Porter's Lodge is the best spot for reading. That was sweet. Okay, there was also a bookshelf here. The bookshelf has many books. And I see a white spine one. There's a book with a white spine. Can, can, can I pick it up? <laughs> ah, frick's sake. Okay, I have to go back to the music room. Trigger something. Uh, Maybe if I rearrange the books. Oh, right. Psst. <laughs> I think I don't have quite enough books here to rearrange them. And then we can go back. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes, um, because I have played this quite a few times, I skip over things. Um, but yeah, of course. And now we can take the... Hey! What's that design on the book's spine? This is a book from the shelf in the music room. Yes. Got the Y book. Awesome. Okay. So let's go upstairs. Three cabinets. There's a large wardrobe. Inside the wardrobe is an old envelope. The envelope contains something. A letter? I think so. The envelope, envelope holds a letter. My beloved father. Please forgive me for going against your will and pursuing my career as a musician. I've endured much hardship since I departed the mansion so suddenly. But I am content that I am living the life that I chose for myself. I have taken a wife and I am, prou I am the proud father of two children. I am looking forward to the day that I will be able to return to the mansion and speak with you, Leonard Edward. Leonard Edward? Who is Leonard? Leonard Edward. Leonard. I can't remember. Don't worry about it. 
it'll come back eventually. Hopefully. Mm. And what's in wardrobe number two? In the wardrobe, there is an old album. Look at all the old photos in this album. Hmm. You might be in. S uh, you might be in some of these. Maybe. Let's have a look. In the old album, there are dates and captions. On the first page, there is a photograph of two boys. July 1924. The boys playing in the yard. Henry and Thomas are growing up so quickly. They are as thick as thieves and are practically inseparable. Henry is very protective of his little brother. On the next page, there is a photograph of two young men. August 1932. The boy is doing a game. Stern and strong Henry, honest and gentle Thomas. Being around the two boys, one cannot help but smile. Master is as is at his happiest just watching his boys growing up. On the next page, there are photos of two men both in suits. September 1934. Portraits of the young two young men. Henry wants to become an artist and Thomas a novelist. Now that each of the boys has grown to adulthood, Master would like nothing more than to see them in the in the careers they want. Henry and Thomas The graves at the cemetery where I met Dee were theirs. Henry and Thomas were brothers. Henry? Thomas? D? Who are Henry and Thomas? Look at these pic- uh, look at- look at the pictures in the album. Do they bring anything back? Hmm... I don't remember anything. I can't. Right, so I think I'm going to end up the episode here. Um, in the next episode we're going to look in wardrobe number 3 and see what's inside there. And if you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like and tune in to the next episode. Um, so yeah, I've been Momo and thank you so much for watching. See you.